Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my top 5 favorite French pastries in Paris. The first one that I'm going to be bringing you guys to is the Ritz Le Comptoir to try the famous Madeleine. Ritz Le Comptoir is not actually the hotel, it's like a cafe associated with the Ritz that is um, located in the first arrondissement in Paris. I've been there like a couple of times and um, the caramel madeleines are my go-tos. Ritz Le Comptoir is located on Rue Cambon which houses the iconic Chanel boutique. So I discovered this cafe like uh, two years back and it has become super famous since then. Like there's constantly a queue outside and I don't think that I'm going to be able to get a place to sit inside. But let's just get a Madeleine to go. Here we are outside the shop. There was already a small queue when I arrived. And as you can see, they sell pastries, Madeleines. And the Madeleines start at 350 for the classics. When you step inside, you see how beautifully decorated it is. Fun fact, the chef François Perret starred in his own show called The Chef in a Truck. Now we have a first peek at their pastries, starting with their marble cake, the pain au chocolat and their Madeleine. We got it and I'm so excited to try this. So now we're headed to Tuileries Garden where I can sit down and enjoy the pastries that I bought. I got the one in salted caramel which in my opinion is the best. So many things that are right about this Madeleine. The first one being that it's glazed, so good. And the caramel feeling on the inside is really good as well. It's really soft and for all those reasons, it makes it my favorite Madeleine ever. I'm alone in the garden with my Madeleine. Life's good. So if you guys go to Paris and if you want to try the famous Madeleine from Ritz, Give it a try and let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Gosh, I wish I bought a second one. So good. So the next place I'm going to be bringing you guys to is Chez Meunier, where I like to get the pain au chocolat praliné, which means it's not an ordinary pain au chocolat. It's a pain au chocolat which is like, uh, which has like added layers of chocolate to it. I love this area in Paris so much because you see Osman buildings everywhere, everything's really pretty, you have huge monuments, your eyes just never get bored. The area is like so incredibly crowded all the time because it's where you have Galerie Lafayette, it's where you have L'Opéra, so it's like the center for shopping. Walking into La Maison Le Gourmet right now and as you can see there are so many food options in here. You can literally find anything. So here we are at Chez Meunier and I mean just look at the variety of things. But we're gonna be focused, we are gonna be getting the pain au chocolat. Okay, now let's go for the second one. This one is really big. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat the whole thing, but look at how big it is. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. People who say women are complicated. It just takes food. Like, all I want is good food in my life and, and I'm sad. I'm ready to go. So what I like about this pain au chocolat it's the fact that it's special. It's not like an ordinary pain au chocolat. Like I said, there's chocolate filling in it. If you're in the mood for something different rather than like the ordinary pain au chocolat, then this is something you can try. Okay guys, the next thing that we're going to be trying is Saint Honoré, which is a pastry. And I'm going to be bringing you guys to Carret for that. So we have arrived at Place de Vosges and Carret is just behind me, but it's a very, very popular cafe, um, very touristy, very historical, so there's always many people there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it away and we're gonna have it behind us in the garden right opposite. 
Gareth is an iconic and historical cafe in Paris, so it's known to be very touristy and rather expensive. But in my opinion, I think that the pastries are top quality, so I wouldn't mind paying for it once in a while. Okay, so now we are in Place de Verge and I've got my pâtisserie right in front of me. Basically, this is a Saint Honoré and it's made up of like a few choux. Choux is like the, these balls. So it has like a little caramel glaze on top and on the inside it has like this thing called crème pâtissière. Voilà. And the white thing that you see is also this um, vanilla crème. And then, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little biscuit at the bottom. So it makes this really beautiful pastry. It's like a council. <laughs> Mm. It sort of tastes like cheesecake, so plus points for me. Hey guys, so today it's raining in Paris and I'm going to be showing you my favorite croissant place which is located in the 10th arrondissement near Gazuno. So we have Gare du Nord there and we are going to be going over there. So much rain. Here we are. As you can see, there's already a queue. So they've even won the first prize for the best butter croissant in Paris in 2022. So there she is, that's her, that's the winner <laughs> and my favorite croissant in Paris. Okay, so I got my croissant and we're going to be eating it right outside of the bakery. First bite. So buttery, I'm happy. I had a bad morning but I'm happy. I think like the best part of living in France is just the fact that you can get pastries like this for 1 euro or like 150. It's never too expensive and literally this is what I do whenever I'm having a bad day or whenever like I'm feeling eh. I just go to a random bakery, I get a croissant and my day immediately just becomes a lot better. I discovered this croissant because I took the train to Paris one day, it got off Gare du Nord and I was like damn I could do it like I could do it with a sandwich, I was hungry, it was lunchtime so I just searched on Google map and I saw this bakery that was right opposite the station and literally the station is behind us and the bakery is on this street so I went there and I saw oh they have a price for the croissant so let's go try it out I got it and I tell you I was not disappointed at all so if you're coming in to Paris with the Eurostar or if you're near the 10th arrondissement then don't hesitate to check out Carton and you won't regret their croissant okay so now we're going to go to Angelina which is a famous cafe in Paris and I'm going to be showing you what a Mont Blanc is so Angelina is famous for a lot of pastries especially it's Mont Blanc and if you google like famous cafes in Paris Angelina definitely comes up so some say it's slightly overrated I say that it is slightly expensive, but it's good. As expected, the queue is crazy long, so we're not going to be queuing up for that. Um, instead, we're just going to go in, get a Mont Blanc and come out. I also forgot to mention that Angelina is especially famous for its hot chocolate. Okay, so after like 10 minutes of waiting in the line to take away, we are finally in front. <laughs> we finally made it in and as you can see the cafe is beautifully decorated it has pastries all over the place so it definitely gets you in the mood we finally got to the front of the counter and i mean just look at the variety everything looks so unique and so well presented and made i honestly just wish i could buy everything 
So this is what we are getting. This is the classic momlong, and they usually do like variations. So this time we have a pistachio variation. And for all you macaron lovers, they are so famous for their chocolate show that they even sell it in bottles. Even though we didn't get to dine in, I still wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, the interior is really beautiful, really classic, so I love it. And the service is extremely friendly as well. We each got our Mont Blanc and we are headed to Tuileries Garden. So this is a Mont Blanc and it is made like the brown thing you see on top is basically chestnut. And it's called Mont Blanc because it's apparently supposed to resemble the Mont Blanc mountain. And inside you have like whipped cream. So let's go. Mm. I don't quite know how to describe what it tastes like. Besides the fact that it tastes like chestnuts. It's sweet but not too sweet. And it also has like a sort of milky taste to it. So I guess if you're someone who enjoys like this milky, creamy taste, then this is something you would definitely enjoy. So the reason why I like it so much is because it's addicting without being too addicting. I'm talking to Joy, by the way. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And I feel like that combination of chestnut and cream, it makes you want to eat more. Yeah. And I like, like that, like. right? If you don't want to like spend too much of money going to Angelina and having the brunch and everything, I would at least recommend going to get like a Mont Blanc to take away. That's all for this video guys. I really had fun making this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!